everybody, Backyard Bullion here. Happy Hand Poured Silver Sunday, everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend wherever you may be in this big wide world. Now, today's video, as you can see, is all about these European Mint 100 gram pieces. We've got 10 bars, 10 squares, 10 rounds, and 10 triangles, which are now all finished. So by the time you are watching this video, they will be winging their way to their lucky new owners. And a huge thank you to everybody who did pre-order these. These are all sold, by the way. If you are interested in them, then do let me know because we are going to be planning to do some in 2020. But for now, this is it. And uh, it was a really successful and fun thing to do, different shapes with the uh, European Mint stamp. And I'm really, really happy with the way that they have turned out. Uh, but a huge thank you to everybody for supporting not only our brand, the Backyard Bullion Hand Poured Silver brand, but also the European Mint, who've been a long-term partner uh, of our channel, essentially. They have been a huge part in our business, in our growth over this last couple of years here on YouTube, as well as just business generally. And I just want to take this opportunity to say a huge and massive thank you to them. You know, we've been doing some ridiculously stupid group orders, to say the least, in this last couple of years. And the one that was just gone by was pretty bonkers. And, you know, the European Mint, they have worked with us so well to get all of these done, uh, you know, in such in such a way because it's not an easy thing from their point of view or our point of view uh, and they are a fantastic company to work with and I'm really really happy and honored that they decided finally to I, I've been wearing them down for a while uh, because they made their own versions of 100 gram bars in fact there was a mini unboxing yesterday where somebody had ordered one um, and I've been wearing them down for a while and they finally taken that plunge they ordered this really very cool kind of Arturian Welsh looking dragon with the European mint and uh, I think it's turned out really well. It looks good against the background of the ripples on these types of pieces, and I'm just really chuffed with it. So a huge thank you to the European Mint. They really do need to have, uh, you know, a lot of credit go their way because um, these are, you know, a risk. They obviously have to invest in the stamp, the silver, and everything, and it's it is hard uh, to to sort of, you know, really justify these type of things in the low numbers that we're planning to do them. So a huge thank you to them for the opportunity. It's really very humbling as well. So here are all of the pieces. Now we decided, uh, you know, we, we've done kind of bar projects before. We've done uh, obviously Blair Bullion. Uh, we've got uh, owl bars and owl squares. And uh, I was thinking with the European Mint, we were saying, you know, we want to try and do things which are a little bit different because ultimately, uh, you know, a bar is a bar at the end of the day. And whilst they are traditionally very popular, you know, I think it's important to have some diversity, have some different types of things out there, which is why we decided to incorporate all of these different shapes. So there's 40 pieces in total, which we decided to do, but 10 of each type. So we've obviously got the squares, the rounds, the bars. Let's see if I can get all of them in my hand at once and the triangles. And uh, I'm just really happy with the way that the eclectic mix of them all together look. I think they look fantastic. And, uh, you know, this uh, it's really difficult because each time I look at them, uh, a different one becomes my favorite. I'm a big, big fan of the triangle ones. I think they look fantastic. They're a little bit more difficult to stamp because the way that the uh, stamp is shaped. You can see here, for example, that we just didn't have enough angle, if we can get that to focus, to get the dragon's tail all perfect on there. So it is a little bit more tricky and challenging, and there were quite a few pieces which were misstamped because of that uh, trial and error kind of research and development stage. So, uh, I, you know, we've put a lot of work and energy into these, and I think they, you know, the proof's in the pudding, because I do think they look really, really very good indeed. And, you know, you guys, <laughs> the feedback that we've had so far from all of you, I mean, obviously, you know, those who have pre-ordered it haven't got them in hand yet, so they haven't seen them yet. But, you know, the feedback has been very, very positive. So a huge thank you to uh, to you for providing that. And the idea was to do these different shapes so that we'd maybe have an indication of what was the most popular shape, uh, perhaps for 2020. And then we could maybe look to do some more of that one. But I'm much more of the mind, I think, to keep it in that kind of, you know, equal amounts for each one. Whilst the, uh, the, I mean, the bars were the first to sell out, there's no real big surprise there, but uh, not very far behind them were the rounds, then the triangles and the squares. Then I mean, it was a really quick pre-order period. It took about, I think it was about 72 hours or so for everything to be sold out. So um, maybe we need to make more, but I don't really know. I don't really want to make more because they want, the whole point about these is they are meant to be limited. They're meant to be special. There's meant to be something about them which excites people and we like you know, what we've done, and I think that's the right thing to do. One thing to ask you guys for feedback on, though, is that we have not been serializing them. So, 
you can see here there are no serial numbers on the sides of these bars. And I wanted to get your uh, guys' opinion on that, whether or not we should serialize them. It's not going to happen for 2019. These are all done and they're going to be shipped out later today. And the, uh, the COAs are reflective of the fact that there's just different shapes, but there's no, uh, as you can see the mintage there, there's no serial numbers on them or anything like that. But I'd be curious to find out what you guys think about uh, serial numbers and whether or not we should serialize these and whether that's something that's you know important to you. We've done it on you know the Silver Forum products, we didn't do it on the Blair Bullion products, but I don't know, just let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Now there's a few other pieces on the table here as well, and this kind of shows I think a little bit of my, or well, the way that we work here sometimes in the Backyard Bullion household. So to create all of these, there's been a lot of pieces poured. You see 40 completed pieces here on the table with the European Mint stamp, but I've probably poured closer to 60 or 70 pieces because there'll be some that come out underweight, some that come out too much overweight, and then there are some which I make which end up being spares in case I mess up the stamping or something doesn't work out with them when they come back from the Edinburgh Assay Office. Now we do have a number of spares that have made their way through to become the first kind of odd weight, odd shaped backyard bullion branded products. And here are the uh, the two triangles, two rounds and square that we've got. They're all 3.4 ounces. Uh, these are all of the big fat heavy ones, which were just too heavy to use for, uh, you know, those uh, 100 gram pieces, but they were too beautiful just to chop up and melt back down. So we have incorporated those into the kind of backyard bullion odd weight series. Traditionally, we've done that with just uh, with just bars. And those are usually the kind of leftovers from the silver forum products when we have them and they're underweight or overweight. So these five pieces will be listed on our website. There's links down in the description below if you are interested in picking any of those up, then you can. And uh, I mean, this one here is my absolute favorite of the batch. It is so, so pretty. These ripples are just, oh, they're just gorgeous and electric. Just look at that. Very, you could get mesmerized, hypnotized by those. So yeah, that's where we are with all of these and uh, I hope you guys enjoy them. I'm messing up all of my lovely symmetry here now. Although we had just this one square, which I have to pop in the middle, otherwise it's, uh, it throws off the whole balance of the, of the masterpiece, so to speak. Now there is one last piece on the table which I wanted to show off and give uh, some exposure to, and it's the latest hammered piece, large Kit Kat hammered bar and uh, really proud of this one. It's taken a lot of work today, much to the dismay of our next door neighbors, I can imagine. Uh, but I thought as I've just finished it today, as I'm filming all of these 100 gram European mint bars, it was well worth showcasing for you all here. There's all the particulars, 13.46 ounces. It's number 11 in my hammered series, BYB and the 999 hallmark there. So really, really happy with the way that's turned out. I love my hammered pieces and uh, the feel of it is just great. So that is basically the update for today. Lots of poured silver being made. For those who are waiting, anticipating updates on the uh, Silver Forum rounds that we are planning to do, uh, there will be an update. It'll probably be in a couple of weeks though. We're just working through everything. We're, we've started production, production is underway. Uh, but I don't like to commit to anything until I know that that can be, uh, you know, fulfilled because we don't want to be in a situation where we're going to let people down if things change, if my surgery date's moved up or something like that. So from everybody out there who is expecting Silver Forum products, Silver Forum rounds, we are doing them, we will be doing them, hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, touch some table wood. But uh, we'll have to wait a few weeks to give you a formal announcement about those. But for the time being, thank you again to the European Mint for the support, the continued support throughout this last couple of years, the, you know, the really humbling, you know, support behind our brand to create these for you. It really is very, very cool indeed. And a huge thank you to everybody who's picked them up. You know, even if you haven't picked any of these up, thank you for watching and feed and giving feedback on these pieces. Uh, it's really helpful. And if you enjoy them and you enjoyed this video, then please hit the thumbs up button on YouTube because that really does help. I know it's a bit cringeworthy and YouTube-y cringeworthy, but genuinely speaking, you know, the, the, the likes, the comments, everything, it really does help uh, our channel grow, continue to grow and to uh, become bigger and better as to what we want to achieve with it. So if you could take the time just to hit that thumbs up button, that would be very helpful. Otherwise, that's it for today. We've got uh, some really cool videos lined up for next week and uh, a really very fun video next weekend as well of another poured piece of silver coming to life. It's a very, very cool piece indeed. So if you've not subscribed, 
you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, that's it from me today. Thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic week ahead. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.